So I want to do a quick overview of something I've noticed that a few folks have had trouble with recently. And to be honest with you, I had trouble with it before too. And that's the idea of rebasing. So what the heck is a rebase? Well, you can do a Google search for what it is explicitly in terms of Git. I will give you the layman's terms. When you're working on a pull request and perhaps you push some initial fixes and then there's a bunch of different changes and lots of additional commits, the commit history gets a bit messy. So let's do that right now. Here I'm working in a local project. It's just a project that I work on. And let's say I'm gonna check out a new feature branch for a cool feature. So I do git checkout branch add cool feature. And then I'm gonna open up my readme and I'm gonna add this feature and this feature is so cool it's essentially just going to be a uh, little string of text in the readme. So I'm gonna say pancakes are super great, especially if they are pumpkin because we are in fall and fall is the season of everything pumpkin spice. Okay, so I'm like super happy about this. Okay, git commit all, sign it, my message is, adding the first commit about pancakes. Great, I sign it, and I'm ready to push, and maybe I do push and I open up a PR, but then someone is like, you know, Vanessa, pumpkin pancakes, like really? I mean, chocolate chip pancakes are much better. I think this PR is great, but you really need to fix that up. So I go back to my branch and I go, oh gosh, okay, well, pancakes are super great, especially if they are chocolate chip. Okay, fine. Let's commit again. Adding first commit about adding the second commit about chocolate chip pancakes better. Now this is great. And then I go, oh crap. Well, now I have, if I look in my Git log, now I have two commits. I have the first commit about pancakes and I have the second commit about chocolate chip pancakes. And my goodness, I just want this to be a clean Git history that says I'm adding the commit about pancakes. And so in a real life scenario, you're obviously going to have more than two commits. You might have a bunch of commits that are like fixing up thing one, fixing up thing two. Oh crap, I did it again. Redo, redo, redo. And if you were to actually merge that into a project, it would be a really bad idea. So here's what we're going to do. This is the perfect case for a rebase. So the first thing you actually wanna do is to make sure that your master branch or whatever branch that you're going to rebase against is in sync with the upstream master. So when I say upstream, I mean whatever is like the organizational or you know central Git repository that you're gonna file the pull request against. So in my case, the upstream is just my origin. So I'm just gonna make sure that I pull origin master, that everything is up to date. Then I'm gonna check out my add cool feature branch again. Okay, now here's the simple magic. I'm gonna do git rebase i. i means interactive, so I want to do an interactive rebase against master. So once you do that, it's gonna open up a text editor and the, just akin to when you're writing a commit message, the only lines that you really care about are the ones that are in white up here. And actually this is so nice because it gives us down here all of the commands that we might actually do. So what I have now is pick means that like, yes, I'm choosing this commit, I'm using it. So what I could do, I could do a squash. So I, I could basically change this to squash. Whoops, Vanessa can't spell. I would change this to squash. And what that would do, it would squash this commit into this one, but the, the drawback with squash is it's gonna open up another text editor and make you combine commit messages into one thing. And we're kind of lazy, we don't wanna do that. But thankfully there's this option to do a fix up, which, and I couldn't say it uh, better myself, like squash, but discard this commits log message. So like, I don't really care that I said adding the second commit about chocolate chip pancakes, I just want to uh, rebase this thing. So I'm gonna do fix up. Now we're going to save it. So we're saving the file. Notice it was pretty quick, but it actually said rebase one, two. And if you had more than one commit in there, more than one line that you changed to fix up, it would then have done a rebase for each of those commits. So at this point, we can now look at the Git log and you'll notice that the only Git, sorry, the only commit that's represented here is the one that we wanted, the one that's about pancakes and our other changes are integrated into that. Excellent because if we cut our readme, there they are, chocolate chip. Okay, great, so at this point we do git push origin 
add cool feature. But guess what? If it's the case that you've already pushed and your, uh, your remote branch for add cool feature has these commits that don't exist locally, it's going to give you this huge error message like, error, error, there's commits up there that we don't have down here. Something is wrong. You didn't like update. So what you actually have to do in this case is add the force. And literally, that is totally it. That is all that you need to do to rebase and have really nice, clean commit histories, which is something I never used to do. But then when someone showed me how to do it, I said, hey, this is really best practice. This is how we can have clean Git histories and just be better software engineers overall. So I hope that you folks enjoyed this. And I hope that you continue forward to rebase responsibly and generally develop responsibly too. Dinosaur out.